Hello Windows Universe. In this video we will talk about if the audio and video is out of sync and how to fix it. For a more in-depth look at the topic we will link an article in the description down below. Update your graphics driver. You might be experiencing video syncing issues on your Windows computer due to the corrupted or outdated graphics driver. To fix that issue, update your graphics driver. There's two ways you can do this. You can you can right click on the start menu, go to the device manager, find display adapters, right click on your graphics driver, click on update driver. Tell it to search automatically for drivers and if they haven't updated, it will run it. You can also go to the manufacturer's website of your graphics card, download the latest drivers and install them from there. Next, let's look at changing the audio format of your device. Changing the audio format of the device is one of the ways to troubleshoot the audio and video syncing issues. So let's open the control panel. Click on hardware and sound. Click on sound. Select your audio device under the playback mode, right click on it and select properties. Go to the advanced tab under format, click on the drop down and you'll want to select the DVD quality option. Click apply and click OK. Restart your system and see if the problem has now been resolved. Let's look at disabling the allow applications to take control over this device option. If the other methods aren't working, then you might want to try to disable the allow applications to take control over this device. To do that, let's go to the control panel. Once again, hardware and sound, sound, Go to your speakers, right click on it, and go to properties. Go to advanced, and under exclusive mode, under allow applications to take exclusive control of this device, uncheck that box, check apply, and check OK. Next, let's look at Hyper-V. Some users have experiencing this issue because of the hyper -V three, two, one. Let's look at turning off the Hyper-V. Some users were experiencing this issue because of the Hyper-V service running in the background. If you have a virtual machine running in the background, it continually uses the CPU cores, which affects the performance of your system overall. Hence, turning off the Hyper-V may fix the issue. To do that, let's open the search, type in turn Windows features on or off. Look for Hyper-V or in some of, or also the Windows Hypervisor platform. Unchecking either of these, if they're checked, should help in this problem. We can also look at disabling the fast startup. According to feedback of affected users, disabling the fast startup in Windows can fix the issue. Now, the fast startup boots a computer faster than normal mode, though it is a useful feature that reduces the boot up time in Windows computers. Sometimes it might create issues. To do that, let's open the control panel. Go to all control panel items. Look for power options. Go to choose what the power buttons do. Then change settings that are currently unavailable. Unclick the box, turn on fast startup. Save the changes, restart your system and see if the problem has then corrected itself. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. 
Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.